Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Monday, it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I'm really excited about this week's meal prep. Everything is so incredibly delicious and super, super easy. So if you're excited to give this video a big, huge thumbs up, it really helps out my channel. And of course, subscribe if you're not, I would absolutely love to have you here. I will link my recipe website down in the description box. This is where you can find all of my recipes, including the three that we're making today. You'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things, nutrition coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is very important to reach your weight loss goal. So highly, highly recommend that. And one-on-one -on -one coaching, if you would like to chat with me directly. You'll also find the link to come on over, join my Facebook group. We would be honored to have you. So let's jump into meal prep because I'm really excited about these three recipes. For breakfast this week, I am making maple brown sugar baked oatmeal. I'm really excited for this. It has been a long time since I've had baked oatmeal and it is one of my favorite breakfasts. I'm going to pair this with some protein, most likely some eggs, but let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need some quick cook oats. You could use regular rolled oats. I only have quick cook steel cut oats, so I'm going to use that. You'll need some light butter, brown sugar alternative of your choice. As always, I'm using my Lakanto Golden. It is my favorite sugar alternative. I find that it tastes the most like real sugar. I will go ahead and link Lakanto down below for you with 15% off. You'll also need some baking powder, eggs, maple extract, and some ground cinnamon. So we're going to put together our baked oatmeal. Like I said, all three of today's recipes are super, super simple. So the first thing we're going to do is crack two eggs into our bowl. With a fork, go ahead and beat those together. Now we're going to add one half of a cup of melted light butter, one cup of Lakanto Golden Monk Fruit Sweetener, one tablespoon of baking powder, teaspoon-ish of cinnamon. You guys know I love cinnamon, so I'm probably going to do more like a tablespoon. And then one teaspoon of maple extract. Go ahead and give that a quick stir. Now we're going to add in our oats. So if you're using quick cook steel cut oats like I am, go ahead and add in two full cups. If you're using quick cook rolled oats, we're going to add in three cups. We get a lot more in these steel cut oats per cup than rolled oats just because they're much, much smaller. So if we were to add three cups of steel cut oats, it would just be too much for the liquid in the recipe. So again, if you're using steel cut oats, it's two cups. If you're using rolled oats, it's three cups. So I have a six by six baking dish. You can also use an eight by eight baking dish. Add, go ahead and spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. And then we're going to add the oat mixture. Spread that out nice and even in the bottom of the baking dish. And it's going into a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until the edges are lightly browned and the center shouldn't be jiggly anymore. I just pulled the maple baked oatmeal out of the oven. It smells like pancakes with syrup. It smells so incredibly delicious. I will go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you. And again, I am just going to pair this with some eggs. That way I get in some protein and this is a nice slow digesting whole grain healthy carb. You could add a little bit of light butter, some sugar-free maple syrup. All I know is it smells absolutely delicious. For lunch this week, I'm making chaffles. It has been a long time since I've made chaffles and I'm craving pizza, so we're making mini pepperoni pizza chaffles. Let me show you what's in the recipe. First, you're going to need some low-fat mozzarella cheese. I'm just using the one that I picked up from Trader Joe's. You'll also need eggs, tomato sauce, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and then some turkey pepperoni, and a little dash waffle maker. This is the little mini dash. This is perfect for making chaffles or mini waffles. 
Great for kids, great for yourself if you love a good mini waffle. I will go ahead and link my little Dash waffle maker down below. I just picked it up off of Amazon. So let's go ahead and make some pepperoni pizza chaffles. So I get asked a lot, what is a chaffle? Basically a chaffle is a low carb version of a waffle. It is made with mozzarella cheese and egg and then you can season it any way that you like. And since we're making pizza, we're going to season ours with a little bit more of an Italian vibe. So the first thing you're going to need is one egg and this chaffle recipe is going to make two pizza chaffles. Then we're adding one half of a cup of light mozzarella cheese, some Italian seasoning and some garlic powder. Go ahead and give that a mix. And like I said, you can use any seasoning. You can make sweet, savory. There are so many different chaffle options. Let me know if you'd be interested in seeing a few more chaffle recipes. I love them. And like I said, it's been a long time since I made them. I just forgot about how much I really, really love them. It's such a great low carb, delicious food. So here's what your mixture looks like. Again, it's just the egg, the mozzarella cheese, and seasoning. I went ahead and plugged my little waffle maker in. When the blue light goes off, that means that it is warmed up and ready to go. Okay, our waffle maker is warmed up. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and then we're adding half of the mixture onto our lower portion of the waffle maker. I like to spread that out a little bit just so I have a nicely shaped chaffle. Smells really good, just like pizza crust. And then go ahead and close that. And when the light goes off, it's ready to go. All right, the light is off. Ooh, that looks so good. So there is one chaffle. I am going to go ahead and just set the made chaffles on a plate. Doesn't that look so good? It literally smells like, kind of like cheesy garlic bread. I'm going to spray my waffle maker again and add the other half of the chaffle mix. Again, spreading that out nice and even. And while this second one is cooking, we'll make up another batter for two more chaffles. Chaffle is done. Let me go ahead and unplug my little waffle maker. I really, really love this thing. I just let it cool and then wipe it down with a wet rag and it cleans up really, really easy. So now we're going to make these little goodies into pizza. So I have some pizza sauce here. We want about two tablespoons per chaffle. Go ahead and just spread that out right on top. One quarter cup of light mozzarella per chaffle. And then four turkey pepperonis. I'm going to transfer them onto a sprayed quarter sheet pan. Listen, we're getting all the cheese. We are putting all the cheese that we're accounting for in our points, calories, and macros. We're going to pop the chaffles into a 350 degree oven until the cheese is melted and they're nice and crispy. Look how amazing these look. Oh my gosh, it smells like my local pizzeria in here and I couldn't be more excited because not only is this pizza, but it is a low carb pizza with all the flavor. You will not miss the crust with that chaffle base. It is so delicious. You can eat them straight out of the oven. Now for me, obviously this is my meal prep, so I'll need to reheat these. So my recommendation would be to throw them in either your air fryer toaster oven or back into your oven to get them nice and crispy again. I'm just going to store them here on the baking sheet in my refrigerator. I will have one every day for lunch, most likely with some type of crunchy snack and some fruit. I will go ahead and put points, calories, all the information here on the screen for you, but we just made an incredible low carb pizza. For a sweet treat this week, we're making red, white, and blue cheesecake salad. 
I also haven't had this in so long and it is such a delicious, amazing dessert and it's healthy. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need fresh strawberries and fresh blueberries. I mean, you could also use raspberries, blackberries. Our goal is to stick with red and blue fruit. So I'm going with strawberries and blueberries. You'll need some light Cool Whip. I'm using my True Whip Skinny. Some powdered sugar alternative. As always, this is the Lakanto Monk Fruit Powdered. Again, I'll link it down below with 15% off. I can't tell the difference between this and regular powdered sugar, so I always pick up the Lakanto. You'll need some vanilla extract and some one-third less fat cream cheese. So the first thing I'm going to do is slice up some strawberries. We want one cup of sliced strawberries and one cup of blueberries. So to make our fruit salad, the first thing we're going to do is add eight ounces of the one-third less fat cream cheese. Make sure that it is softened so it mixes easily together with the one third cup of the Lakanto powdered. We're going to mix these two things together until light and fluffy. I'm going to use a spatula. You could also use a handheld mixer or a stand mixer. You just want to make sure that this, that these two ingredients are light and fluffy. Now we're adding in about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract and our eight ounce container of Cool Whip. And then we're going to mix that together until fully combined. I did decide to go ahead and get out my handheld mixer for this part. I'm just not getting everything mixed as well as I was hoping. So feel free to use a mixer if needed. That looks much better using the mixer. And then I have a cup of chopped strawberries and a cup of blueberries. And then we want to fold those in, gently fold those in. Like I said, this is one of my favorite desserts. This is so perfect for barbecues, cookouts, summer get togethers. You do want to store it in an airtight container if you're not going to serve it immediately, which I am not. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer this into an airtight container, but it is so good with the whipped topping and the cream cheese and the fruit. It is again, the perfect summer dessert. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories here on the screen for you. for joining me on this week's WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget you will find them on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my very favorite things. And of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Monday. I hope you have an absolutely amazing, amazing week, and I'll see you in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Bye.